so we are done with cutting our macros into shape this is macro 2 millimeters and the width is 0 0.6 inch 0 0.6 inch so you can see that 0 0.6 inch that is the width the length can be 10 inch or 12 letter you cut off the excesses so it is going to be 8 in number 4 for each pair so right now we're going to wrap our tape around the width of the macro to get the width of the leather that is going to cover the macro so you can see we have two inch two inch as the width of the leather that is going to cover the macro so we are going to measure Two inch into eight places the length can be the length can be 10 inch or 12 inch depending so whichever letter you just cut off the excess so two inch into eight places So after that you cut the leathers into shape, we are going to gum the macro to the leather. So we are going to apply our gum on the leather and also on the macro. So you can see how I have gummed it. So we are going to apply gum here too. So when the gum must have dried, firstly you fold the short part of it and then the longer side follows. So you repeat this process on all the straps. So you can see the short side first. Then followed by the widest part. So right now we are going to cut off some SSCs. So I'm using a zigzag scissors. But if you don't have a zigzag scissors, you can use your normal scissors to do that so after doing that we are going to use our super glue to gum the leather to the other The reason I'm not using gum for this is because I don't want it to spill on the outside of the leather, making it rough. So super glue is best. So you can see that. So we're going to repeat this process throughout the other straps. So now let, let me use uh, a normal scissors to do this one. So that you don't have a zigzag scissors, it's not a barrier at all.
after that use your raw file to mark out your insole so we are using macro four millimeters as our insole macro four millimeters so we're going to cut it into shape and after cutting it into shape we use our sandpaper to sand the edges So after sanding the edges, you attach your leather and then you fold your insole. So after folding your insole, you use your razor to cut off the creeps at the back of the folding. So after the folding, you stitch the insole round and then you cut out your main sole. So make sure you sand this place before you attach your heel. So we are going to attach our heel now. So after attaching your heel, you cut off the excesses. So after that we're going to sand the edges. Place your last on your insole and then you mark here and here. After that pick one of the straps, place it on the measurement on the mark take this is the mark then take the width of the strap leave a gap of about 0.2 inch and then place the strap again and take the measurement of the width of the strap you see that so repeat the same process on the other side so take the measurement of the width of the strap then leave a gap of about 0.2 inch place it on the measurement and then take the width of the strap so now we are going to leave a gap of about 0.3 inch and then place hope you can see it 0.3 inch so there's the gap place your strap make sure it corresponds with the other side then you take the side too so you see it make sure it corresponds so still leave it at that measurement and then still take the width of the strap so now we have about three one two three four now 
is three so we still have to mark one again so after leaving a measurement of 0.2 we take another measurement for the width of the strap so we are done with that and then we now pin our insole to our last and do the last thing So the first strap is going to come from the second to the first at the front and then to the last placement at the back. So I'm going to use spark glue to do the last thing so it is more faster. So hope you can see there's one placement left here. So we jump it and place the strap on this one so this one is going on the last placement at the back so I cut off the SS then gum it So the next strap is coming from the inside, from the last placement at the back to the second to the first at the front. So this one is going to, you see a space here, then you jump it to this one. So the next strap is going to come from the first at the front and then at the center of the first placed straps. So this way. Just um, look closely to make sure you are following. So this one comes from the center here then down to the front here. So you can see what we have here. So we are done with the last thing. So the next thing after this is to place our to attach our sole. So hope you can see that. 
So let's process. So sorry, this trap was supposed to pass under this one. So take note of that. Take note of that. You can see it was supposed to pass under the other strap at the front. So just take note of that. So I have corrected it. I have done the correction. So So we are done smoothing the edges of our sole. So the next thing now is to mark out where we are supposed to apply our gum so that we don't end up spilling gum on the surface of the leather after the bonding. So I'm going to use a nail to hold the insole to the sole at this point. So after setting it properly, I use my pen to mark out where the sole met with the, the straps or the insole. Then apply your gum and then couple the footwear. So this is what we have as our finished product. If you have any question, feel free to drop it in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as our next video drops. So it is a simple process. Just try it out. So thank you, have a nice day and see you in our next video.